Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video where today we have something brilliant to talk about in regards to the 3DS hacking scene. This may be the biggest thing to happen in the 3DS hacking scene. What is up guys? Welcome to a new episode of Pixel News. So recently, just a couple of days ago, NTR Boot Hacks was released. Now, NTR Boot Hacks is a way to hack any 3DS on any hardware, on any firmware, using a magnet and a DS flash card. I kid you not, this is actually pretty freaking crazy, and I honestly cannot wrap my head around the fact that Nintendo, since this is a hardware flaw, did not fix this exploit in their new 2DS. I mean, they had plenty of time to actually know about this exploit and fix it. The only thing I can think of is that maybe they were already too far into production with the new 2DS or they just simply didn't care. I don't know, but this is a huge freaking deal and Nintendo cannot fix it unless they create a new revision of the 3DS, which still does not fix all other previous models of the 3DS. So how this works is you have to have two 3DS systems. One is a hacked 3DS system and the other is a non-hacked 3DS system on any firmware of your choice. Now basically the process involves taking your 3DS your hacked 3DS, taking a specific flash cart, a DS flash cart, we're talking an Ace Card 2i HW44, an Ace Card 2i HW81, or an R4i Gold 3DS RTS, and you put it into your hacked 3DS, you load up the Luma 3DS chain loader, and you actually flash the NTR boot hacks to the, the actual flash cart. Now, if it's an Ace card, you can actually still continue to use the uh, flash cart to play DS games on Hack 3DS. But if you're using the R4i Gold 3DS RTS, you actually can't use the DS flash cart to play DS games because it's only then being used as a uh, NTR boot hacks installer until you flash it and wipe it out and then you can actually use it again for playing DS games. So basically after you have taken your Hack 3DS and you have flashed the NTR boot hacks onto the DS flash cart, then you're going to take the DS flash cart, put it into the non-hack 3DS, put some files on your SD card, and then you're going to take a magnet and you're going to put it generally around this area right here where the sleep sensor is. If it's a 3DS, if it's 2DS, you're just going to use the sleep switch. But then you're going to put a magnet right there and you're going to press a series of buttons. As you can see right here in this video, thanks to Console X Bordeaux who created this video, just showing a clip of it. Yeah, it's absolutely insane that you can hack a 3DS with a magnet and a DS flash card. We're talking installing not just homebrew launcher onto a brand new 3DS, we're talking installing full-on boot nine strap and all the entire top level hacks onto a brand new 3ds of any firmware 11.5 all the way up to whatever nintendo throws out there in the future now apparently it's using like a hardware flaw and this was something nintendo used to fix broken 3ds's without actually taking them apart so yeah it's kind of interesting that this is actually a thing now I know what you're thinking, I don't have access to a hacked 3DS, so how am I supposed to do this? This is like totally pointless to me because I don't have a hacked 3DS to set up a DS flash cart. Well, I'm pretty sure that people are going to start selling flash carts with NTR boot hacks installed so that you can just pop the flash card right in and hack your 3DS bada bing bada bang. Or if you have a buddy who has a hacked 3DS, you could perform this process and there's also a new process in the works involving power saves that doesn't actually require a hack 3ds to my knowledge now there is a little note on the 3ds guide that uh, there is a minor super minor extremely minor chance that flashing a uh, a ds flash cart could actually break the flash cart itself not the 3ds just the flash cart but it is super freaking minor and if it does happen i mean these ds flash carts are so cheap that it's honestly you could just go and buy a new one like 15 20 dollars you can buy these flash carts i bought an r4 i 3ds gold rts for $18 on eBay, so they're really cheap. This is just honestly super freaking crazy and honestly the golden age of the 3DS right now. I mean, there's been so many golden ages of the 3DS and we're honestly in the gold or platinum. Whatever is up here, man, we are in that age with the 3DS because Nintendo cannot stop this. This is unstoppable. This is literally a hardware flaw that is being exploited, not a software flaw, hardware flaw. 
that cannot be fixed through software means. So many new people are going to be able to hack their 3DS and enjoy the benefits of a hacked 3DS. We're talking modding different games, we're talking playing different homebrews, streaming your 3DS screen to your computer, using Xbox controllers. I mean, there's just so much stuff you can do with this little system, and now more people are going to be able to enjoy the benefits of that. There's so much more to do on a 3DS than just pirate games. I mean, there's so many nice mods in homebrew, and the more people that get involved in 3DS modding, the more homebrew and mods that'll actually come to fruition. It's actually pretty crazy when this hack dropped a couple days ago, over a thousand people came to the 3DS hack subreddit. I mean that's like I think the most people that have ever came to the subreddit. And it's really cool also something that I didn't mention about this exploit is that if your 3DS is actually dead, like your 3DS is dead, you can't start it up, it's bricked. This may be a viable option in the future for you to recover your 3DS and get it back up and running. So if your 3DS is bricked and it's just literally sitting there holding your door open right now, you should honestly like get a different door stopper and put this aside because in the future you may be able to actually unbrick your 3DS and breathe brand new life into it using a DS flash cart and a magnet. So. Get the resources you need guys. I will put a link in the description to a guide. The 3DS guide has been updated to include anti boot hacks if you're in interested in installing this exploit. You will actually have to compile the anti boot hacks flasher tool yourself. So that's kind of the only like big thing you'll have to do to do this and of course have a hacked 3DS on hand. But I mean for something this incredible and this big this is just monumental. It's really not that hard to do and that big of a deal. There are still more exploits coming out in the future. Primary exploits if people just want to use homebrew. We're still actually waiting for the Flipnote Studio 3D exploit to drop from Mr. NBAO. So I will be reporting on that shortly when he actually posts that. Sorry I couldn't get this video out as quick as I wanted to you guys. I was actually camping and then I had some stuff I had to do. So at least it's out there. Better, better now than not. And you guys... Thanks to your encouragement, I have created a Patreon, and I am so excited to announce my Patreon. I don't have a ton of rewards, I'm building rewards currently. If you guys have any you know, ideas for rewards you guys would like to see, or if you just want to donate and support me on Patreon, I would be incredibly appreciative. Also, there's nobody on this screen right now. This is the credit screen that's gonna going to be appearing at the end of every Pixel News episode because the Pixel News episodes are the biggest videos on my channel. So if you want to support the channel and you want to be in the credits, go ahead and check out the Patreon and consider it. It would mean the freaking world to me, honestly, you guys. YouTube ads have dropped in majorly and entirely, and you know, honestly, there's some months I don't even meet Gate and I put up a lot of videos, so it's kind of a difficult thing to be a creator on YouTube, especially a small creator on YouTube right now. Anyways guys, let me know your thoughts on NTR boot hacks in the comment section below. Do you have a hacked 3DS? Do you not have a hacked 3DS? Are you super excited about the prospect of being able to hack your 3DS and get boot 9 strap on it? Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below. I would love to read what you guys got to say as always. And you know, this channel's mascot, Gigabyte, wants to be more involved with the channel. So, you know what? I decided to include him in Pixel News at the end of every episode. So, Gigabyte, roll with it, bro. Let's all be unique together until we realize we are all the same. Alright. Thank you for that. Anyways, guys, please like it up, subscribe it up, and I'll catch all of you guys in future videos and live streams. Peace out, Big Crew.